Hey fellow photographers, Dan from On One here. I want to show you another thing that we're working on for Photo Raw 2025 coming this fall. Now as a photographer, a lot of times you need to create composite pieces of artwork for yourself or for your client. And oftentimes that means you need to create a document of a specific size. Well, that can be a little bit of a challenge in a raw processor. It wants you to open a photo first. Well, what we've done is we've improved the new canvas dialog to make it a lot easier to start layouts. Let me show you how it works. I've got two different photos here. My goal is to make a holiday card. So I have a main photo that I want to use. And I've also got an overlay texture that I got from uh, rawpixel.com. And I just want to overlay those two together onto a specific size, onto a four by six. So watch, I'm just going to select both of these photos. I'm going to use the new canvas command. You'll notice the new canvas dialog looks a lot different. There are now categories and presets and you can create your own presets as well. In this case, I want to do a four by six vertical photo for this. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it a holiday card. And I want my width to be four inches and my height to be six inches. You'll see how you the little preview update so you can see what it's going to look like. I can choose the resolution that I need for my device. 300 will work great. And then now in the background content section, I can control what goes into that new canvas. Now I could fill it with white or black or gray or a custom color that I can define. I can also just leave it transparent, but there's also some cool options for using the selected photos. That's what I'm going to do. So it'll take the two selected photos I have and we'll put them into this new document. There's also a clipboard option. So if I have either a photos, pixels or path on my clipboard, I copied from one app, I can paste those in here as well from the clipboard. I'm just going to use the selected photos option and in the fitting, I'll just say fit. And that will make sure when it adds those layers, it fits that new canvas. So rather than having a little four by six canvas and a big giant photo on top of it, where I only see a little bit of it, it's going to scale it for me the way it needs to be scaled. Then we'll hit the create photo button. Now, if we look over here in the info pane, you'll see that it's only 1200 by 1800. That's the number of pixels I need to make a four by six at 300. In my layer stack, you'll see there's that overlay on one layer and my main photo on the other. And they've both been scaled to fit that new canvas size, a four by six. Now all I need to do is just blend these two together. I'm just gonna pick a blend mode like multiply or maybe linear burn to blend those two together quickly and easily. Let's add a little text to finish this up. I'll just grab the text tool and let's just say, oh, merry and bright. Oops. Let's make that a little bit bigger here. And we'll Size our text layer to fit that better. And I'm gonna stick it over here and let's change our alignment to, hmm, let's do center. Center looks good, right about there. I can change the color with the dropper so I could pick a different color from my scene if I want. Maybe I want to use a dark green color for the text. No, let's actually use a color from her hair. I kind of like that orange. That's more red than orange. There we go, something like that. So there you go. In a very short amount of time, I've created a specific layout at a specific size. So a four by six at 300, what I need to send to my lab to be able to make these postcards. I was able to place two photos together, blend them, add text. Very quick way to create a layout using All One Photo Raw 2025. Thanks for watching.